Okay guys, so this is going to be my review of Die Rise. Well, I should say my initial reactions. It's hard to do a review after only playing the game for three hours. But, you know, the people like yourself that are listening, you know, to do a full review, you'd have to play the game for a couple weeks, let it sink in, stuff like that. But by then, you guys wouldn't know whether you'd want to get the map or not. So we kind of rush out these reviews, and mine especially tend to get, uh, you know, bad rep because, you know, I say what I feel, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Um, one of my predictions coming into this map is that I thought that it would be one of the toughest maps, and I thought people wouldn't like it. I thought it would be like a 5 meets Kino, and then one of my subs brought up a good point. You know, Knock Deterrent was probably one of the toughest maps. And I think it adds elements to all three of those maps, to be honest. I think it's like a Knock Deterrent meets 5 meets Kino. Now, with that said, what they were able to do to make this map enjoyable and what I think will make people stick around and play it for a very long time is that, you know, if you guys haven't noticed, what they're doing is they're raising the bar. They're making the maps more difficult each time because they're trying to, you know, raise the skill level Get us better at the game. Give us a challenge. You know, instead of just running circles all day. They're trying to make it more difficult and, you know, keep us around and just, like, try to make us better at the game. And, you know, with that said, with being able to do that in this map, they were also able to make it really fun. And I think that will make a lot of people stick around and it will give this map a lot of replay value. And, you know, there's so much cool stuff. They got the elevators, the slides. Um, it's basically, like, two towers and then on one half of the tower – um it's like upside down and you know oh my only gripe about it is my only gripe about the map and everything would be on the upside down part of the map i don't know if i'm just being a pansy or if it's just from lack of sleep for staying up for six hours to wait for this but it kind of hurt my head you know i'm one of those people i can't read or play video games in a car so that kind of stuff kind of you know it, it kind of hurt my head a little bit i started to get a little headache after playing that uh, you know running through that part of the map but other than that it's amazing um, it is tough though, like I said. I don't think in three hours of playing, I haven't got Jug and I have not seen or hit the box once. Now, the Jug part, that's my fault because I'm running around, I'm trying to find stuff to do videos for you guys and all that stuff. The Jug thing is totally my fault, but now the box, I haven't seen the box once, I haven't hit it once, I don't even think my teammates have hit it once. Maybe a couple times, if that. Um, you think, like, because I'm running around, I'm trying to find stuff for videos, you think I would stumble upon the box, be like, oh, hey, there's the box, I, I know what that looks like, I haven't seen it once, this map is tough, like I said, um, the perks coming through the elevator shafts, you have to catch it at the right time, um, you know, guns on the wall, there are some good guns on the wall, but they're in really tough locations, you're not going to be able to run circles, really, and grab ammo, especially if you're playing with a, a high number of people, and, you know, it's a really, really tough map, but it, like I said, it's also very fun, and I think it's going to keep you guys around playing, so I would recommend getting it. Um, it's one of the best maps, and uh, it's new, it's refreshing, it's challenging, and it's a lot of fun. So I know a lot of you guys are waiting to get home to play it. I don't think you guys will be disappointed. I think I'm going to probably live stream it now. I mean, I've done about all the videos I'm going to do. You know, there's some, there's some more videos I could throw out there, but, you know, I'm just going to start live streaming and start. I'm going to go for a high round. The highest right now is like a 23. Like, that's how hard the map is. So, I think I'm going to live stream it. Uh, at, it's going to be at twitch.tv slash everythingpiffofficial. Um, I'll put that link in the description. And um, so, if you're a new viewer, uh, if you just sub, if you enjoyed the review on my subs, you just comment and like. I appreciate that. Come check out the stream. You know, if you guys are at school, you want a little sneak peek of what the map's like and what it's really looking like uh, for someone really trying to play and go for a high round and you know, you want to ask me questions or whatever, just feel free to come into the Twitch chat and uh, ask me questions and all that. Um, also, I'd ask you guys to follow me at Twitter, at Sir Piffkinen. That's with two N's. And, yeah, man, I'll just be picking people. I'll be playing all day and uh, just picking people up from the chat or wherever. So if you want to come out and play, just uh, hit me up there. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.